Hey, it's Rocky Rose. Out here in Croom, Maryland. I'm actually at a wildlife sanctuary. I don't know if you guys can see them, but those are osprey flying above our heads. And I'm out here with Tornado. Made a couple of videos about to head back home. And this was my first time actually taking the bike out on any length of time on dirt. I'd done like 20 or 30 feet before, but and you know, this is just a gravel road. I don't really have the tires to do any real off-roading. And um you know, feels fine. I actually want to see, can I make an adjustment on my preload here? I don't know what the setting is, but it's riding hard. So I'm going to soften it up a bit riding hard in the front too but I'm not gonna mess with the front right now so I mount the bike by stepping on the foot peg hmm. so feel a little bit different on this road but and I always worry it's gonna tip over but look at this I'm like I can't even pull all my weight I'm pulling on it she's not gonna flip over so Mounting up like that when I step on the foot peg is a lot easier with this tall bike. And yeah, I know one day it's going to screw up on me. But that today won't be today. That day won't be today. And um, so I've been able to just kind of play around with Tornado today and get a little more comfortable riding this bike. As you know, I've talked about this already. The biggest difference I've seen between riding this um, Africa Twin versus the CB500X is the size of the bikes. Um, this bike does handle well on the gravel uh, as you would expect. These are not, like I said, these are not off-road tires. These are street tires. So. I think I can feel that I softened it up a bit. Okay, there's only one way, so let's go this way. It's a lovely ride coming up in here. So it's going to be a lovely ride coming up out of here. Look at this. This is great. This is great. So I guess for this video, I'll give you guys a real topic. Let's talk about something. There go those, um, I don't know if those are the same birds or not. Here's the exit. Let's take the exit. Hi-yo, tornado, away, ha-ha. That was actually a um, horse trail right there. It's lovely back up in here. I, I, I really like, well, I don't come up in here a lot. I, I will be coming back. Um, I think I found out, I realized, let me say I found out, I kind of knew it was here. Shit. No, that's the Chrome Road. That's what I want. Let's go to Chrome Road. I'm 
this is lovely. This is a nice little ride. Nothing complicated, nothing technical. Just getting used to the bike. Only at 440 miles. There's another horse trail. got on all this cold gear winter gear um, but it'll be all right I'm moving now I could actually open the vents on this jacket this jacket is great so I don't talk about this coat much but it's called a built storm this is one of the cycle gear brands people talk so much trash about cycle gear it's ridiculous I, I buy their gear I've had great experiences with their gear. Um, I've seen plenty of people who've talked about crashes they've had in their gear. Um, and I've also seen people who have reported that they did have something that went wrong. You know, a zipper or something like that. And that they didn't have any problems getting the gear replaced by Cycle Gear. So that in itself, you know, between, you know, I think the quality is good. And I think that um, they honor their warranty. So I don't really, I don't get the problem. I see people who will go out and spend $700 on a helmet, not buy a jacket, not buy boots, not buy riding pants, and ride around with their $700 helmet and not have gear on the rest of their body, okay? I'm wearing a, well this is a Sadichi helmet, but as you know, I've got a couple, I got a Sadichi and a belt in addition to this one. And, you know, they're good helmets. And I get it, I mean, I've tried on the um, Arai and the Shoei and they feel different, they feel better. I'm not going to pretend like they don't. A little more luxurious but you know this is a ECE certified helmet it's going to protect my head in the crash um, I don't I, I get it but I don't subscribe to it not to say I won't be getting an Arai or a Shoei because I will but I'm gonna get it in time much more important that I spent the money on this wonderful waterproof jacket jacket can come with a liner I actually have a hoodie on underneath it um, the jacket is waterproof it's warm lots of pockets great um, back protector slot I mean and, and I didn't I don't I never use the back protectors that come with the jackets I have about three or four back protectors that I've bought and I kind of swap them around between my jackets. I'm, I got about seven or eight jackets. And about three or four back protectors. Um, the particular back protector I have in the, bike, in the jacket right now is actually, I think, one of my better ones. And so I tend to keep that one the, my go-to jackets. And this is my go-to winter jacket. I actually swapped it over just for today because it was cool this morning. But, um... Okay, this is Chrome Road. Is that? I don't know which way I want to go. So we're going to go this way. Yeah, I think that's the way I wanted to go. Okay. The sun's kind of high right now. It's 12 o'clock. Usually I look at the sun and get my bearings straight. So yeah, great coat. If anything, I'm 
too warm in the moment. I got slots in it. I could open up the vents. If I need to, I will, but that should be okay. And, um, I'm wearing my Kevlar lined riding jeans with the armor in the knees. I don't have any hip armor on. Uh, I'm not consistent about wearing hip armor. And I'm, I'm wearing my um, Alpine Star adventure boots and I would say first make sure you get a nice helmet, certified helmet, but nice means certified. And then second, get a good pair of boots. What the heck? Did none of that get recorded? You gotta be kidding. I didn't record any of that. Ain't this some crap. I'm not going back around the block yet. Let me play with this first. <laughs> 